Okay, there are three major reasons why tariffs on nations, and specifically the Trump tariffs on China, aren't really a working strategy. First, tariffs are not paid by the countries that do the exporting. They're typically paid by the countries that import the goods. And specifically, those tariffs are paid by the consumers in the countries that import the goods. So tariffs are a tax on imports, which means that when an importer brings in a good, they're basically paying a tax on top of the amount for the value of the good or service being brought in. And that tax typically gets carried over to the consumer side as far as the price of the good on the market for consumers. On top of that fact, right, if something gets imported into the United States, let's say we're taking, for example, um, steel goods. Let's say steel goods get imported into the United States. They typically import at, let's say, a dollar a pound, just to give a random number, and now there's a tax of 10%. So now they get imported at a dollar ten per pound. Um, it, the signal that that sends to domestic producers of steel is that they can now raise the price of their steel from a dollar to a dollar ten cents which effectively creates a situation where the new market price becomes the higher price of the good or service with the tariff on top of it, which is really just a giveaway to producers, right? So when governments institute tariffs, what they're basically saying is a signal to domestic producers, hey, raise your prices because consumers domestically don't have any other choice. The second reason why tariffs aren't necessarily a sensible idea or option is that the tariff doesn't end up just being on the final good itself that comes into the country, right? It, it assumes that trade across the globe is this very neat situation where something coming from one country originated in that country. But, for example, a tariff on the cell phones, or let's not even say, a tariff on, yeah, let's use cell phones, actually. A tariff on cell phones produced or exported by China could be a tariff on the final good that is a cell phone, but the components for that cell phone probably came from across the Pacific Rim, and the original idea for the services that would be available on the cell phone or the options that would be available on the cell phone maybe even originated within the United States. So in many ways, our tariffs on a good or service coming from one country becomes effectively a tax on goods and services coming from every other part of the world, including from our own brains and minds. If the original idea for the good or service originated in the United States and then was exported as an idea to another country for assembly there and maybe parts of what was assembled in that country actually came from several other countries and then finally was sent back to the United States as a final good or service. The third reason tariffs aren't necessarily the best idea is because, or at least tariffs in the in the sense of what Donald Trump is trying to do or has tried to do with China, is that if the end goal is to close a trade deficit, it really doesn't have a point. There's been no indication, evidence, anecdotal, and when I say evidence, I mean empirical research or anecdotally, that uh, suggests that trade deficits are a bad thing for consumers just on the surface. If anything, it's usually an indication that consumers in aggregate have enough income that they can purchase goods and services from overseas, they can export their savings overseas, and that is what usually ends up resulting in the trade deficit, is that we're purchasing so much that we have to meet some of that demand from producers overseas, and in many ways, that demand is met by them, and then on the flip side, on our capital side, we have those overseas producers investing in our own domestic infrastructure by financing the debt that we uh, produce, either the debt that's produced on the federal level by the federal government, or in more of a way, the debt that's produced by domestic private producers. So... The idea of closing the trade deficit is really pointless, and it's a really ineffective tool to try to use uh, tariffs or even quotas to close that trade deficit. In many ways, the ultimate way to get the solution that Donald Trump is looking for in the form of closing the trade deficit would be causing a recession to occur, reducing consumption or consumer demand so much that there is no longer a deficit because there isn't enough demand for households domestically to seek goods from overseas. But that would seem counterintuitive. The whole point is to prioritize the health of the nation, uh, especially the economic health of the nation. Why would you try to induce a recession just to close a trade deficit?
So ultimately, because of those three reasons, because tariffs really are a giveaway to producers domestically and a tax on goods that gets carried over to consumers, because goods that are produced overseas are often assembled from across the globe and often are started from ideas that originate within the United States and then get exported overseas to, or I should say, get sent overseas to be produced in the most uh, comparatively advantageous way. And also because closing a trade deficit isn't really a sensible economic goal by any evidence that we have so far, doesn't really seem to make sense for us to prioritize closing the trade deficit and therefore it doesn't really make sense for us to use tariffs to that end.